I've realized to trap clown again. I'm gonna need some help. So me and Minnie team up, and at the end of the video, I make an amazing deal with clown, and he's gonna completely change the series. Yes, welcome back to friend or foe. Now today, I designed two traps. Mini had set up a little stand with a hole underneath, and I just had to set up a trap below. Right now, my priority is getting the rest of the materials for this trap. You see, I have 16 obsidian. I need a little bit more than that. 40 pieces to be exact. I'm hoping there's gonna be enough here, but it's, it, oh, it could be tight. It looks like I'm just gonna be ever so slightly short by three pieces, but, but don't worry, because I could take out a creeper. That's actually irrelevant, but I just need the gunpowder for the TNT minecart. And I can also mine away part of this portal. All right, that's mission accomplished. Next, I need 25 dripstone. I know exactly where a dripstone cave is, so I'm going for it. This is gonna be the widest drop shoot I've ever made. It's gonna be a five by five, so it's gonna take so many gates and crafting tables, and that's why it will also require lots of dripstone. That's all of them obtained, and some emeralds. I, I might as well grab these, along with the creepers, because they're always handy to have. Right, now to dig up with. This is the thing that always takes forever. And look at that, found some emeralds on the way. That's always a positive. They're very, very useful for player trackers. That's why I'm glad to find them. I think I'm just about out of here. This has actually been a very nice little mining journey. Might as well grab a little bit of iron as well when I see it, because times are hard for collecting that. So hopefully that gets me out of a little bit of trouble. I've also discovered the fact that my horse is somewhere in a forest far, far over in that direction. I'm just glad to know that it wasn't murdered. It was just moved to a very inconvenient location, but... Thankfully, you guys told me that Clown and Minnie bumped into him. Look at this chasm that Minnie's dug. It's fantastic. Crafted loads of stuff. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. And just be safe. I'm going to place water at the bottom. So if I fall or anything like that, don't have to worry too much. All right. This is going to take quite a bit longer because of how far away I have to reach. It's a big challenge, but let's just do it. I'm now getting so, so close to the top. This is the part where I have to really hope that nobody comes into the area. This entire layer up here is going to be dirt. That way, even if somebody breaks the wood to check if it's a trap, they won't be able to see anything. Then I need two layers of obsidian and PvP is on. Okay, it is now a race against time. If Clown comes after me and tracks me down, it is game over. This is the little hole with the redstone. And with that, the trap is now armed. That button will set it off. I just need to have the drip zone. So I'm going to drop myself down. Oh. What? The one bit that's not there. Now, don't worry. If the trap works and clown dies, I don't mind losing a life. Such a simple mistake. Such a simple and stupid mistake. It's not yet over, but come on. Land on it this time. Thank goodness for that. Get my stuff back. This trap can now not afford to fail under any circumstances. The trap is now armed and everything is pretty much ready apart from the stasis chambers. And for these, I need to get that soul sand. Where will it be? It'll be at the bottom somewhere. Or I could just go to the biome that's right by this fortress that I know about. That's probably going to be the easiest way. Just grab a bunch of these, get these trap doors made, I'll grab a few pearls, and then head to minis for the kelp. Kelp goes down. We throw it like that. And I need to hook it up some redstone. This might not work. It has. Okay, so when that trap door closes, It'll all be sorted. When Minnie says you have a deal, I have to press the button. The plan was simple. A TNT minecart would blow up, causing Clown and Minnie to fall down, and Minnie would teleport to a stasis chamber and be saved. So sword. Ah, I need lists of items, man. <sighs> Come take a seat. Okay, okay. What? No trap? What is this? Oh. oh. That's a big old trap there. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, guys. That didn't exactly go to plan, did it? Well, you know, it, it was smart to do this while PvP isn't on, but uh, now I know how things are gonna go. Yeah. I know exactly how things are gonna go. Yeah, it, it didn't work. So I went back to the drawing board and designed a new trap ready for when Clown would come after us. I'm gonna need quite a few different redstone materials, most of which I already have knocking around in different chests. So I'm just gonna grab as much as I can. I think I've got the obsidian I need. Yeah, I don't need all of that. I'd say the main thing I'm missing quite a bit of that I'm gonna need is probably the iron. I can make hoppers, but I'm gonna need a lot of minecarts. That should be everything I need other than the armor stands. Now I've been smelting away some smooth stone. And I'll need a few stacks of logs as well to craft all of that. I also am going to have to brew a bunch of harming. So I've already made three, but we're going to need a lot more than that. And I also want to make sure I've brought plenty of strength. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a chest at the 
spot with all the stuff in to begin with. Then I can build the majority of the trap there. Okay, I think I can get a lot of the stuff, but we need all of these. So for now, I brought what I can. It's going to be a race against time. I need to get as much there as possible. And I need to fill Mini in on the plan. He's, he knows a, a bit about it, but I just need to tell him what I'm doing. I'm hoping Clown sort himself out, although PvP has just come on, so... Got to be panicked. Minute, are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm going to take you on a secret a secret tunnel of mine, okay? We're going to sneak above the bedrock up this ladder. All right, we've got the plant, ladies and gentlemen. I, I've got all my items. I am just going to have to get to work. Because as you can imagine, time is of the essence. So, there's going to be dispensers, not like that, but all facing in the middle here. So, Clown is going to come up. He's going to get stuck, all righty? Around the dispensers, it's going to be cased in obsidian. I'm also going to have an observer... Right about there. There's going to be another one above that here. And these hoppers are very important. These are for the harming. I want to have absolutely loads of them. We're going to get him with entity cramming and harming pots. That's the plan. Now up here, this is how he's going to be cased in. So he's not going to be able to get away. It's just going to be obsidian all the way around. And then finally, I need an upside down piston here. Plus some redstone running around to a skulk center above it. I really hope Mini hurries up with that harming. But the good news is PvP goes off in four and a half minutes. So if Cloud hasn't hunted us now, he's probably not got enough time and he's waiting for the next PvP. That's the final bit of redstone. And yeah, the Skulk sensor, and this is going to be very, I've got to be careful with this. The skulk sensor is going to go here. I've got to make sure whatever happens, I don't accidentally set it off. The trap's complete, by the way. Everything's in except for the skulk sensor. Let me give you a little demonstration. No funny business, that's me. Skulk sensor gets activated. That gets to, the observers go off. These dispensers go crazy. There'll be armor stands in these ones. Harming in these two. And a minecart in that one. So the harming is about to be brewed. Just got to add some glowstone. In the meantime, I can add all of the minecarts, which are going to go in this chest. I'm going to drop off some stuff here um, just so I can do some brewing here. All right, let's move on. Okay, I, I need to have my stuff ready for a battle just in case, don't I? We, we need to, yeah, we need to move. It could be on the other side of this portal, SP. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go, he go. He literally could be here. I hope not. He's no way he's moved that fast. Oh! And what's up, here. guys? Hi. Hi, clown. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, didn't think you'd uh, be coming this fast. Well, I guess we're not resolving this peacefully. I mean, you, you, you went straight in. Panic. Panic can make you do stupid things and act like a rubbish player. And that's what happened to me. I'm, I'm so mad. I've had enough of this. What is going on? I'm, guys, I'm honestly so annoyed. Like, why am I, a, a creeper came in the hole. Why? Why I, Why did I just place a block? Because I was like, oh, well, they'll see that block. I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm more annoyed if I don't get my stuff. I've got to go and try and get it. Oh, the entire plan was just so good. But we went through that portal. All because we went through that portal. He found it. Oh, and it was too quick. We should have been we should have been quicker about it. I just really hope my stuff hasn't despawned. Oh, I've run out of uh, flipping. I'm gonna die to this guy now, aren't I? I can hopefully mine around him. But oh, this is just so annoying. Right, got past him. Please tell me. I went down here somewhere. Please. Oh, oh, did Clown put it in a chest? What a nice guy. What a nice, nice guy. You know what? Clown's not all bad. He saved my items. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Yes, I, I died, but then I had an idea. An idea on how to get a life back. And an idea on how to stop Clown Pierce once and for all. I'm not out of the game yet. Clown, I died. I died. I died. I've lost. I'm on four lives, bro. I'm, I'm sad to me today. Today, today's been a bad day, bro. I hope you don't mind. I took a little bit of the nice stuff you had. I'm better than what I had. Whoa, you swapped it out. Could I make a, Could I stop trying to kill my nemesis and create a, a team? I give you an extra life. You, you can't attack me, but I can attack you. But then I'll, I'll be able to strike back, right? No, 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 you can't strike back. Think about it, clown. Come with a counter offer, whatever, whatever. Oh, okay, how about we come together at the end of the episode and we'll discuss this. Let's let's do it, okay? I might, I might have run out of lives by then, so I might have one to give you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did I invite this man to my SMP? But it's time to start playing things a little differently, isn't it? You know, a mastermind deal, okay? Because clearly what I'm doing is, uh, it's not working. It's really not working. I've got everything I needed. I've got to go after Quiff. I don't even took my bow. Thankfully, I've got a spare infinity one, but that's not very good, is it? But you know what? All this will just have to do. This is all purely out of rage. I, I, I have been... You wouldn't believe it, but I have been practicing my PvP. Obviously, just not been practicing my don't panic skills. So let's head back 
and find Quiff. It's a bit of a journey home, but I've got to wait till PvP comes on anyway. Okay, never mind. It's come on now. All right, I'm going for it. My goodness, if Clown accepts the deal, he'll do anything for that extra life. I could, I could have so many episodes of peace. I hope Quiff's at his base. I've, 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 I've got, I've got to make, I've got to make him a little bit of an offer. <laughs> Clown base has now been fishing. Okay, he's, he's doing everything. Ah, oh, look at this. Ah, these two here, eh? Well. Let's, uh, let's have a little look. Alright, Quiff, this is a hostage situation now. I am gonna PvP you, but I'm, I'm gonna give you fair warning. You know, I don't have a sword, so thank you for that. I can't attack a man while he's down. You know what I mean? I, 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 this is all I have to my name. Originally, I was just gonna kill Quiff, but he wanted access to my XP farm, and I wanted one of his lives. So we made a deal. 1v1 in iron armor with just a shield, and axe, and some food. If I win, Quiff gives me a life. But if he wins, he gets all my best gear and unlimited use. Of my XP farm. All right, clown, you're, uh, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the referee here. Any cheating, yeah, you, yeah. You, you kill the cheater. Hey, right. hey, I see those boots, buddy. I see that. I want a nice, clean game here. I, I see those boots, yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, one, fight. Oh. <gasps> da, 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 da. You got a life. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's uh, how go. How many hearts are we on? Uh, I'm on four. What? Wait, really? What? Yes, I kind of knew I'd win an axe shield battle. With that, I was back to five lives. I feel like you know today's not been such a big disaster. You know, it's it's and and it, it might get better yet. Guys, I don't know how I've pulled it off. I got a life from Quiff of all the people, and now I can get a life from Clown. I I can get a life from Clown, which is is no, I can wait. No, I'm gonna lose a life. But, I'm going to get immunity. Sorry, I just realized I'm not going to get a life from Clown. But, that doesn't matter, okay? Because that life, I've just basically taken a life from Quiff and given it to Clown. Which is, is good, okay? And, I, I, to be honest, I was a little bit nervous in that battle, but once I got that first hit and realized he doesn't know the tricks of trick shield PvP, I knew I was going to win. Might as well get some free sugar cane while I'm here as well. I'm sure he won't mind me stealing that. And it's my horse. You know what? I've got to steal this horse back because he, he took it from me. There he is up ahead. I see him. I'll park you there. Don't go anywhere. It isn't my favorite negotiator. Yes, this was it. I had to work out a deal with Clown where I'd give him a life. And as long as I don't fully kill him, he cannot attack me. You know what? I've given it some thought and uh, I'll accept your challenge. I think I have what it takes. Let's just iron out the... the terms of this i give you a life and you cannot attack me for as long as i hold on to that life i'm going to counter the offer i give you this life and i have immunity as long as i don't kill you so if if if, if i kill you the immunity goes if i if i never kill you again you, then the immunity stays even if you lose a life to something else i will agree to this as long as it means that you won't interfere in uh, when I'm fighting somebody else. So if I'm fighting Mini or Quiff, you can't attack me. Yeah, I, I think I think that's fair enough. But if, if you know, you're, I'm attacking you and somebody else should start getting involved, that's nothing to do with me, okay? I can't control yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's Immunity okay. only goes if I if I directly kill you, okay? You know, with a bow, with a sword, with an axe, whatever, you know, if you... Um, you... With a trap as well. Traps, traps involved as well. A deal's a deal. I'm going to give you your 10th life back. Yes! I'm down to four. But it's okay right. because it's basically I've just basically given you one of Chris's lives, so. <laughs> one last one last punch. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Can't there shoot. you go. That's the that's the All final right. the final time you touch <laughs> me. Oh, what's what's All the right. what's the terms if you do attack me? You have to give me two lives. Okay. If it's accidental, fair enough. But if it's like intentional in some way. Yeah, if I if I actually try critting you out, you know. Yeah. Then then yeah, I'll I'll, I'll give you two lives. You know guys, I think I may have just made the smartest deal possible okay yes I, I i know i've been trying to take out clown for months and months or whatever but now at least i can't be killed okay by him all right yeah the others might have a go but i'm pretty confident against quiff a minute that they can't take me out so as long as i use my brain now i could do it and pretty much any time i can try and take out clown and he's not gonna be able to to do much about it so it's gonna be very very interesting for me okay will it be a guaranteed kill for me I don't think so. I think he's 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 gonna work good out, but it's gonna give him a lot to think about, okay? It's gonna give him a lot to think about and not make his life easy. And it's gonna allow me to feel him out, get used to, you know, going against him and feel a little bit better. So I think I've made a very, very smart deal.